Have you found the perfect, perfect dream home and you're just not sure if you're writing a good offer? By the end of this video, you are gonna have the exact strategy that we use in our business to help over 100 home buyers and sellers accomplish their real estate goals each and every year. Stay tuned. and subscribe to our channel down below. Uh, hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified each and every week as we post new content that will help you increase the probabilities of your success when buying and or selling a new home. Number one, present a clean offer. You have two options as a real estate agent. You can know how to present a clean and good offer, have accurate information, making sure that you're representing your client's best interest by presenting a clean and complete offer. Or you can create an offer that has lots of missing information, it has inaccurate information, it looks like dog crap. The reality is I've seen those offers. If you're in a competing situation and I have a clean offer and I have a dog crap offer, I can guarantee you that the dog crap offer is gonna go off to the side, right, wrong, or indifferent. My confidence level in an agent that presents an offer like that is very low. I have to represent my client's best interest and that means going with the agent and or offer that is gonna give them the highest probabilities of success. Pick your poison, price or terms. A lot of times I see buyers come in asking for what I call the sun, the moon, and the stars. So they want the best price, they wanna get a super low price, they want all of these terms, they want all of the appliances, they want the lampshade, they want the furniture on the front porch, blah, 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 blah. They want everything. The probabilities of success in that situation decreased dramatically. My recommendation is that you pick one. Focus on price and get the exact price that you want or terms. Are you just in a, in a situation where you don't have a lot of leverage or strength when presenting your offer? Well, pick one of those two. Pick price or pick terms. Get pre-qualified, not pre-approved. A pre-approval doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot, to be honest with you. It's a piece of paper. It means that you've had a conversation with a lender. They've kind of taken down all of the information that you've told them, but the reality is it has not been verified. A pre-qualification, on the other hand, puts you in the strongest position. When presenting that offer to the sellers, they are going to look at it and have more confidence that you are approved and that you are going to be able to follow through and purchase that home. Make sure that you understand the difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval, and you are getting pre-approved when you found the dream home and you're negotiating that offer. Last but not least, and I know you're not gonna like this, because it's uncomfortable, but shoot a quick video. Shoot a quick video talking about what you love about the home, what you love about the neighborhood, because the reality is the sellers, they are emotionally tied to this property. They want somebody to purchase the home that loves it as much as, as they do, that it's gonna care for it. If you can hook them emotionally, then you are again going to increase the probabilities of, of your success, and that's what you want. If this video was helpful and you think that this is going to help in successfully negotiating in your next home, like that button down below, give us a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and we'd love, love, love to hear any feedback that you have or if we can just help you with any of your real estate needs. So leave those comments down below. Uh, we'll see you next time.